You hear the story often wherever fishermen and women gather. An angler on the Missouri River sets the hook and thinks he's snagged only to have the snag start moving. Turns out the angler has hooked into a giant paddlefish. These encounters are happening more and more frequently, and that's why fisheries biologists want to get a better handle on how many of these giant fish are calling the Missouri River home. Our goal is to get a population estimate on these fish, to uh, get an estimate of how many fish uh, are in this entire population between Garrison and Oahe Dams. Paul Bailey and his crew have set these floating nets on this stretch of the Missouri River, then watch to see when a paddlefish is captured. We follow behind these nets uh, and paddlefish encounter them, become entangled. So we zip up there with the boat, untangle the fish, weigh them, measure them, uh, and then put a, a jaw tag in them. Besides basic paddlefish population information, the biologists also want to gather input on reproduction as well. So we can get some information on uh, spawning periodicity, like how frequently these fish return to the river to spawn, and that's also critical information for calculating these population estimates. Bailey says it's always tempting to get into a brawl with one of these giant fish. Please don't. Try not to fight them to exhaustion if at all possible. Land them as quickly as possible, which could be quite a challenge. Some of these fish are pretty good sized. Uh, but don't take them out of the water for a picture or anything. You can do some pretty severe damage to the fish doing that. Bailey recommends releasing the fish at the side of the boat while it's still in the water. Or if it has a jaw tag, write down the information and call it into Game and Fish when it's convenient. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.